Maren Hassinger was born in Los Angeles in 1947. She attended Bennington College in Vermont and UCLA, where she received her Master of Fine Arts in 1973. At UCLA, she found the inspiration for her future work in a weaving class. She began to search for a way to retain the malleability of fiber in a more durable material. With steel cable, Hassinger discovered she could freeze the flexibility and elegance of fiber. Marin Hassinger's Evening Shadows, one of the largest of her sculptural works, intentionally underscores the uneasy relationship that exists between the constructed world and the natural one. She employs explicitly industrial elements, unfurled cable, galvanized steel, and other modern metals, to produce sculpture which cleverly imitates the organic objects of nature, twigs, trees, and bushes. And, here as elsewhere, by planting these forms into the developed landscape, she heightens the tension between our man-made surroundings and their once unspoiled state. What I'm trying to do with my work, she states, is to create a kind of environment in which we can meditate upon certain issues that are important, that I feel get lost in our daily contemporary existence. In other words, it is important to reflect on our relationship to nature now. Hassinger was commissioned to install Evening Shadows as a celebration of the opening of the University Art Museum's new facility at the Horn Center. Prior to the installation of the work at CSULB, Evening Shadows went by another name, Window Boxes. This piece had originally resided at the Whitney Museum in New York, where it emphasized the lack of natural life amidst the urban environment of concrete and steel. Evening Shadows consists of 21 three-foot-tall, unfurled steel cable saplings planted in 300 pounds of concrete. The metal rendition of saplings are frozen in an eternal winter as they sway in the wake of an imaginary wind. The difference between window boxes and evening shadows is the silhouette of the slender forms against the museum wall as the sun sets. These late afternoon shadows are the inspiration for the sculpture's title. 